Today we're going to show you the new WhatsApp chatbot. So you can access this from your second number dashboard. And what that basically means is you can have a widget on your web page. Could be a shop, could be a um, information website. <clears throat> Wherever you can cut and paste HTML, you can put, cut and paste the widget, which basically allows the customer to talk to your um, chatbot. So it would put a little widget, if you can see in the corner here, you can see where it says questions, let's talk. If you click on that, you can type in a, a word or whatever, <clears throat> or a question, and it will open up WhatsApp on the customer's computer, and then they can start chatting to you um, pretty easily straight away through through WhatsApp. As you can see there, it's loading up WhatsApp, and it will bring up the chatbot in a second, and away you go. The, the chatbot is here, so you will click in your main dashboard, you'll click on the right hand side and select the little robot face and then select WhatsApp chatbot. And then you just build your chatbot with um, draggable elements. So you can drag out um, text boxes, etc., etc., by dragging them in from the left hand side. Always start with a um, text out box. And this is the, the keyword that you're going to have the customer type into the chatbot. And then you can tell the customer to type that keyword <clears throat> by setting a welcome message up here. It says, um, please update your WhatsApp, WhatsApp bot welcome message. Let's get this going. Type go to start. And then you update that. So when they first go into their chat bot, it will say that. So they type in the word go. And then you drag in a text in out box, which allows you to put questions to the user. So how much is it? Um, what does it do, for example? And another option here, another option three. And then if I drag the dot from go to here, it will join these boxes up. And it provide these to the user as a uh, multiple choice. If I drag in a text in box, this is where you just type your text, the answer. This is the answer to your question. What does it do? I'll drag that over to there. And then when you're finished, oh, well, bef before when you're finished, you just click this export button and it saves the changes. <clears throat> It'll say success. But what you do need to do before all of this, you do have to set the bot token. So you'll have to follow this link that we've got on our web page here. Please set your WhatsApp detail here. <clears throat> and you'll enter in here the phone ID. This will all make sense when you read this guide. It's a little bit involved unfortunately I haven't made it the easiest but it is doable so do follow the guide carefully um, your whatsapp phone ID goes in there and it's not the phone number it's not your second number phone number it's a special ID and then in here you type in your token uh, which is a, a string of jumbled up letters and numbers but if we click on this we can see our support article for configuring a whatsapp chatbot if we scroll down it's quite a few steps unfortunately it's not like the telegram chatbot where you just Fire and forget this one does take a few steps so do take your time with a cup of coffee getting that correct and then once it's done it's done you don't have to touch it again so uh, I've just updated this whatsapp chat bot if I go to whatsapp uh, let's go to start a new chat let's go here so it's pre-filled in the text that we typed in from the previous screen and then um, it tells us what to do. Let's get this going. Type go to start. That was the message we typed in. Type in go. And then it should give us three options. So how much is it? Another option. What does it do? So if we compare that to what you typed in here, how much is it? What does it do? Another option three. It's all there. So how much is it? And then it will give us the answer to that question. So that is the box here. Let's sum it up in a word. Not a lot. Blah, 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 blah. What does it do is the... Uh, second option so it should say this is the answer to your question if I type that in and away you go what I would say is on this um, when you do more than three options WhatsApp will create a pop-up list slightly different to just three buttons so just keep that in mind when you go over the third option it will create a pop-up list no big deal it's just um, the way it lays it out and also the text limit is very limited on on the, these options so you've got about 24 characters so try and keep it really succinct and if you can't keep it succinct break it down so you can have one menu option laid into another one so we can go from this into another multiple choice etc etc making it a little bit more clear 
The final part of this uh, setup is the HTML widget. So <clears throat> if you're into HTML and you can do your own web design, you should be fairly familiar with this kind of thing. You just copy paste the HTML that we give you here into the uh, head of your section of your website. And then that will show the widget as per this widget here. So this questions let's talk widget will then appear on your website. You can tweak this, you can change the location and things like that. If you know a little bit about HTML, we'll perhaps add this in as a feature later on in a future revision of the product. But for now, it's just a cut and paste job. And then you can tweak that with borders and margins and everything else just to position it as you need. And that's about it for the WhatsApp chatbot. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, just let us know.